So welcome back to our eye ornament drawing tutorials. Today I want to talk about a very special kind of brush setting, the calligraphy pen. So if you look at that pen here, you see it uh, does not have a constant width, uh, but the width varies uh, with the uh, direction in which you draw. And this is usually things uh, know from nib pens in calligraphy, and we want to deal exactly with that today. So let me switch to a white pen of full saturation and go to the pen menu and if you look in the pen menu you have these different kinds of brushes and here you have the uh, possibility to get a nib pen and uh, here is a selection of different kind of nibs and uh, so let me just show you the basic behavior of that pen well if you draw in one direction it's thin and if you draw in the other direction it's rather thick and uh, it's like a pen that you use in calligraphy whose stroke width depends on the angle in which you draw. Talking about the angle, you can adjust the angle of the nib pen here at this round slider. So a very usual setting is to take a pen that points from southwest to northeast, uh, but you can also use the other settings here. Um, so to give you an impression of how that pen works and uh, what, what it has to do with calligraphy, uh, so let me just uh, go to the simplest uh, symmetry group and uh, just write my name. So I just have to warn you, my handwriting is very poor and it may be even a good idea to turn off the the pen pressure here. Uh, so my name is Jürgen and so here you see my name written in some calligraphy. Um, actually, it's kind of fun experience to just write your name, go to the symmetry menu and look how your name looks under different uh, symmetry settings. And uh, the more complex the symmetry groups get, uh, the more interestingly distorted your name uh, gets. So you see, uh, it's a quite abstract thing, such a name. And I uh, really recommend to play with that to get uh, some kind of nice ornamental written patterns here. So let me change the pen settings uh, and be a little bit more colorful. I personally uh, like also if you use the uh, calligraphy pen with a very low opacity here. Uh, so let us see what we get here. Uh, so you see uh, in that pen, you get these nice overlays uh, of different transparency. And now I want to show you in the pen settings, you have several choices for your pen. So uh, this here is still a kind of ordinary nib pen, but a little bit more fussy. So let's turn on pen pressure again and perhaps switch to a different color. And here you have some kind of very special pens. So this one here, for instance, comes with two lines simultaneously. And this one comes with five lines simultaneously. I love this one a lot. So here you see you get these nice parallel strokes. For the last uh, thing I want to show you, let me again switch on the pressure dependence of your stroke. Uh, and let me press this little icon here. This little icon opens the possibility to dynamically control the nip angle by some of the dynamic setups. So for instance, you can choose time here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, then you see the stroke here swirls around while you draw. And this gives particularly nice effects. So let me just 
take a mandala drawing. Uh, let's take a pen that is a bit more advanced and go back to my pen menu. So you remember uh, we had these choices of pens. I take this here. Uh, just let's have a look here in my uh, drawing uh, control menu. And uh, I take the timed control and take a pen that is time dependent. And if you draw with that, you get these nice swirls. And I must admit, this is one of my favorite pen settings here because with just one stroke, you get something that uh, looks extremely complicated and stunning uh, just by rotating your nib. I think that's enough for today. Let's see each other in our next tutorial and I enjoy my pen settings just a little.